hey guys hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel my name is Akusia Benhini if you're new if you're a returning subscriber hey boo hey boo what do you do so just a quick disclaimer I do have some false lashes on so if I look a little different that's the reason why okay so in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how um, a tutorial on how to achieve the very trending bright under eye look if you're a beginner and you're wondering how do people do this so effortlessly like how do people put so much product under their eye and yet it still looks beautiful i'm gonna show you how to put it together how to set how to bake all of that stuff um but just with your under eye concealer so if you're if you're interested in watching and in you know seeing how all of this comes together please keep on watching <laughs> so i went ahead to put on my primer and my foundation because i again want to focus only on the concealer and how to achieve that bright under eye so talking about concealers i'm gonna start off with my very first concealer now for my process and how i do it i layer my concealer what i do is i start off with a concealer that is closest to my skin shade i'm using the lancome tian Doll all over concealer in the shade 530 so for me this is going to be like an everyday concealer so this is not something that i would put on by itself if i wanted to achieve like a nice bright under eye but this is going to be my base concealer Okay guys, so this is what it looks like blended out with the first concealer and I just wanted to say that you see the coverage that it gives you, it's giving, I mean for me, it's giving an everyday um, type of concealer. I absolutely love the coverage that you get with this one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my contour, my blush and then I'll come back before we can use that second concealer that we have to use. So I will be right back, all right? Okay guys, so that placement is done. Blush, contour, all of that is in place. So the next step is going to be my next concealer, which is going to be the brightest concealer. I'm using the Bond This Way. This is Too Faced Bond This Way. It's Too Faced Bond This Way Ethereal Lights Concealer, but this is in the shade Caramel Drizzle. I do have some construction going on, so if you hear anything, please ignore it. So I'm going to use this concealer as the concealer that is going to brighten the under eye. So what I do is I usually like to place this in the inner corner of my eye like so. With blending, what you want to do is you just want to press this into your corner eye or into that area where you have the concealer. You don't want to move it around so much. So you want to keep it centered in that area here. So I blend as much as possible in that area and then I drag what's left out um, to merge with the concealer that we had originally put on. All right. So now that all of that is blended out, next step, what you want to do is you want to grab your setting powder. Uh, I'm going to use my translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier. So when you place the powder, this is how it should look like. Now what I'm going to do is do my eyeshadow, pretty much finish off the rest of the face. And then I'll come back so that we can dust this off. This 
next step is totally optional. It's like you can choose to ignore it. I would usually leave mine at this and then set my face with my powder and my setting spray and it brings all of this together. But I just want to show my extra babes. I know there are some people who are very extra and might want to do a little more. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place this powder which is a little brighter than the one that we had used to bake. We're going to place this in the very corner. This very corner. And leave it right there. Now I'm just going to leave this on and then do my lip. Come back. We'll dust it off. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face. Guys, so this is the final look. I have heavy construction going on in my backyard. So I can't even talk. I can't even talk. So I'm going to try as much as possible to talk or do a voiceover if you guys can hear me. Uh, but this is what it looks like. And as a black girl, this is what I want my bright under eye to look like because obviously I am deeper skinned. So I don't want my under eye to look entirely different from the rest of my face. So it's all about balance. And you guys saw how I put everything together and still how it turned out. So I just want to show you guys that this is what it looks like. Comment below, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments if this video helps. Comment below if you like it, if you have any questions. But yeah, thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.